Folks, we're in Walden, Colorado. We have a Cat 12F maintainer that we're going to put up for sale and wanted to just do a walk around video without the machine running. And I apologize, we've got a semi off to the side running, but I, I need to get this video done here so you guys can see it. But I just want to do a walk around so you guys can kind of look at the maintainer and kind of see what it's like. This is a sharp machine, guys. I don't want to try to oversell it, but this is one of the best machines I've ever seen. Just super clean. This little man took good care of all of his stuff. So enough said, we'll do our walk around here. 1,324 tires on the fronts and the rears. I think the rears have newer tires on them, guys. The fronts are still good. I'm gonna say there's at least 50, 60, maybe even 70% tread there. Um, a little older tires than what you'll see on the rears, but still good. You can see we've got the scarifier here up underneath the front. Five shank scarifier right there. And I'll have Monty run this for us so he can pick it up. And you guys will be able to see it a little bit better whenever he does that. 12 foot blade. And again, I'll have Monty run this for you guys. When I get to the other side, I'll take a look. The cutting edge on this blade looks very, very good. The glass all the way around the cab on this machine is in good shape. I don't see any broken or cracked glass. And here's these tires on the back that, like I said, I think they might just be a little newer than the ones on the front. Still 1,324s, but very good tires on the back. And when I pan up on the motor, I think you guys will see why I'm so impressed with this little maintainer right here. My goodness, this is a clean little motor on this old tractor so Monty has told me he's upgraded to a newer galleon that he uses up on his ranch that's the only reason he's selling this and he's been straight with me on all the stuff guys I have to believe if he says it's good it's good so look at how clean and he did not steam clean this guys this this is how this little maintainer is he didn't power wash it off and try to clean it up for us we're we're taking a picture of it in its work clothes, so to speak. So you guys can see what kind of shape this little maintainer's in. I'm gonna back around here and just lay down here in the grass and pan up under on the on the undercarriage a little bit here. And you can see the main drives. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of oil and grease on there, guys. But boy, there isn't very much. We'll keep walking around here. And again, these tires match the ones on the other side. Just really, really good tires all the way around. I'm still looking for an hour meter, guys, on this thing. I climbed up into the cab earlier. I did not see an hour meter. Excuse me while I pull myself up in here. So it looks like we have six forward gears and four reverses. And these, I believe, are your shifters right here. And then up here, I'm going to stand up and look down on this. So it says center shift, wheel lean, blade lift over there. And over here it says blade lift, side shift, and circle drive. And again, just, just clean as a pin inside here. The seat, seat's in average shape. I wouldn't say the seat's you know, just remarkably clean, but it's in good shape. And then here's your gauges over here. And like I said, I'm still looking for an hour meter, guys. So maybe it's back on the motor. But again, clean glass all the way around the inside, or the cab, I should just say. Uh, there's no liner on the top of this thing, guys. No AC or heat. So, just so you guys understand that that's how it is. And let's see if I can get down without hurting myself here. So it's a 12-foot blade. And you guys can see that cutting edge. That cutting edge is pretty straight. Now, 
Now I do see a little bit of oil up here on the front, right here. Might have a cylinder that's got a slow leak or something like that. But other than that, guys, that little maintainer's pretty sharp. So I'm gonna look for an hour meter one more time. I'm gonna get Manu over here so he can run it for me. And we'll get this thing posted so you guys can take a look. Thank you.